Hi, I'm Sid and iOS 10 rollout has begun. So if your device is supported, it would surely be getting the iOS 10 update. And iOS 10 actually supports a lot of devices. If we just talk about the iPhones, it supports iPhones down from 5 up and until the newest iPhone, iPhone 7. However, when the same update runs on two different generations of phones, they both run it differently. What I'm trying to say is that an iPhone 5C would not be as smooth running the iOS 10 as your iPhone 6s, right? But why would you want to miss out on the new features that the update brings? So in this video, I will be sharing some personal tricks that can make your iOS 10 device faster. Now, uh, these tricks work best with an older generation of iPhone, however, or an iOS device, however, these same tricks apply on your current generation of iOS devices. What I'm trying to say is, it can make fast the iPhone 5C for sure, however, it can also make your iPhone 6S faster. Secondly, these tricks also work on iOS 9 uh, because the method is more or less the same. Uh, thirdly, these tricks uh, would also help you conserve more battery. So having said all that, let me now just tell you some quick bits which can make your iOS device smoother. So here's an iPhone SE and it's running on iOS 10 as you can see in the version 10.0.1. And before I give you the basic tricks and tips, uh, one thing that I would uh, like to point out is many people do not have the habit of closing the apps in the background. And I do believe that it does make some impact on the performance, so it's a better idea to close these apps if you're not using them. Having said that, now let's get into the brass tacks. You go to settings, you go to general, you go to accessibilities, and here you find this setting called reduce motion, and you turn this on. For me, it's already on. Uh, what it basically does, is it turns the animation off as you can see no animations left to give you a clearer picture let me first show you how it looks with the motion on so that animation and this animation they all work and when you turn this setting off setting on they all disappear and basically animations put a lot of strain on your phone's gpu thereby affecting its performance a bit so if you can turn this off it'll save you a lot of power and you're not impressing anyone with those animations either ways. Uh, the other thing again is a cosmetic change. You go to this setting called increase contrast. It's above reduce motion. Click there. You reduce transparency. Now what it does is, can you see the dark color change? And the folders now too have become opaque. Let me first again give you a glimpse of how it is without it. So it is translucent right now and so are the folder icons. You can see, post, you can see behind them, you can see past them. As you can see, all those icons are there. Now, when I turn the transparency on, reduce transparency on, this is how it works. You cannot see past that. Uh, again, this also makes it a bit more fluid. The other thing that you can do is you go to settings, you go to general and you go to spotlight search. First thing that, that you need to disable is Siri search, Siri suggestions. So basically, this allows Siri to, you know, give you a uh, Answers based on your contacts, based on your look, based on your uh, past history, based on your usage. But if you if you have an older iPhone, like an iPhone 5C or an iPhone 5 or an iPhone 5S uh, 2, you might want to turn this setting off because Siri still will work fine. It's just that the indexing would not be there. Uh, the other thing that you might want to disable is the spot some features of the Spotlight Search. What is the Spotlight Search? You see the search bar here. This is Spotlight Search. When you type in something, for example, if I type 91 mobiles or 91 just, it gives me suggestions from all the things that I have. My contacts, my uh, WhatsApp account, my email, my messages, everything. But I, not many people even use this feature. Not many people even know that it exists and it is so useful. Generally, people check their messages by opening the message app and thereby selecting the contact. So if you want, you can turn this off as well. Uh, you these are the apps that it searches and look at them it searches every app that is there on your phone i mean would you want it to search ebay as well probably not would you want it to search uh, uh, your currency as well probably not do you want to search it your google drive as well probably not so you can select which ones to choose and which ones not to and do disable lookup what it basically does is it gives you search results from internet but 90% of people open Google from the app or from Chrome and then search it. So this again is useless and it takes a lot of your power. If you have an iPhone 5s or below, I'd rather suggest that you turn all of these things off. And one last thing that you can do is going to setting, going to general again and turning background app refresh off. Now, a lot of apps, 
Now, what this setting basically does is that it allows apps to refresh in the background. However, do you want all your apps to refresh in the background? Probably not. Do you want Airtel Money? Do you want Amazon to refresh in your background? Do you want uh, uh, Chrome to refresh on your background? Do you want uh, Drive to refresh in your background? Probably not, because you can open them and you can manually re refresh them as well. There's no reason for you to put this on automatic mode if your phone is outdated or old rather. So again, this helps a lot. And if you have an iPhone 5S or below, again, I'd suggest that you simply press this button. Disable all the background refreshes, apart from say WhatsApp and uh, Facebook, which might be, you know, useful. So now I've employed all these tricks on my phone. Let me turn this off for now. Now I've employed all these tricks on my phone. And now let me see how my phone performs. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to see the difference. See, notice how apps open, how quickly they open rather. That is Safari, the, the, I don't have any internet connection right now. That is iBooks, so smooth. That is Notes, smooth again. That is, uh, these are my reminders. So reducing animation and reducing transparency does have a big impact on your phone's performance. And one bonus tip that I would want to give you guys is, a lot of times your phone gets stuck. Especially if it's an older phone like an iPhone 5 or iPhone 5C, it might get stuck at times and there is a way to reset it. And many people know about it, however, they don't use it that much. And that is, you press the home button and you press the power button together and keep pressing them. What happens is, the phone automatically restarts. And when it does so, it clears the cache as well. So this is soft reset, what we call it in uh, uh, technical terms. When the phone now switches on, the cache will be cleared, all your background apps will be closed and the phone will feel anew. So these were some of the tricks and tips you can employ. Reducing motion, reducing transparency, minimizing spotlight searches, cutting down on some features from Siri, and lastly, turning background app refresh off. And that's a wrap on this personal video. Do tell me in the comment box how it worked for you. Uh, if you haven't already, do subscribe to our channel. You can like this video, you can share this video. My name is Sid. Keep seeing me. Ciao.